Konnichiwa YouTube! Welcome back to the next episode of Let's Castle with your host, Only One Shinobi. As you can see behind me, uh, there is a giant horse's ass. Uh, forgive me, but that's the truth. There is a giant horse butt uh, staring me in the face. So, um, I didn't quite think that through when I put the horse statue there. That, uh, you know, any visitors to our castle are going to be greeted by a horse butt. But, um, I guess that's just life. So, uh, in this episode, uh, we're going to start building the farmlands. So this area between the Great Wall here, uh, of the moat, and maybe about here, uh, we'll say about here, is going to be the entertainment district. So that's where all the geisha will be, uh, the massage parlors, <coughs> massage parlors. Um, and uh, other things like pubs, uh, izakaya, I don't really know what they had in medieval Japan. Uh, we'll look into that. But for now, um, this sort of hilltop is going to be the start of our farmland. Um, and I kind of want the farmland to be shaped to the terrain. So I'm not going to do too much um, landscaping. Just sort of uh, dig a little bit into the mountainside, create terraces. Um, and then that'll all be corn or, or vegetables or whatnot. So uh, the first thing we got to do is clear the land of any current vegetation. So as you can see, I've already started taking down the trees. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we also need to clear out the grass because that's a nuisance. Clear out the trees and the grass. Um, and then we'll get started on phase two. So I will meet you back here when that is done. And we're back. So basically, um, I just cleared out all the grass, all the trees on the top here. Um, I ran out of iron, but luckily I found a nice little cave. So we went down there and cleared that out. Uh, I've got some iron smelting and we're ready for phase two. So um, what I'd like to do for phase two is basically just go around the edge of where I want the farmland to be. Um, so if we just cut this here and say the farmland is going to be here. Uh, we'll cut just a sort of, you know, nothing really spectacular. It's just to mark the boundary for now. Okay. So this is our farmland, this area. Uh, get out of here. Bye. Uh, this area. So what I'd like to do then is just um, go around the edge and make maybe three, I don't need to do that, I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, three or four from the edge. So I want to make sure that it's big enough to have crops on it. Um, two rows maybe is too small. So let's make it three I guess and like I said I'm just going to go with the natural terrain um, I don't want to do anything too crazy so you don't have to dig into the mountains too much it's gonna be a terraced farm so something like this is okay it doesn't have to be a perfect shape uh, just use the shape of the land around you um, and we'll do it and you'll see what it's going to look like uh, soon. So what I'd like to do then is we need to have our crops sort of in this area. And um, of course they grow with water, um, but we don't have the space for that. So they will grow um, on dirt if you plant it right away. Um, and then basically just... If you plant quickly enough, uh, it won't turn back into dirt. So you don't need water for them to grow. They will grow. So basically then, um, <coughs> we'll sort of create this little terrace of, of wheat. And that's how I want to do this part of the farm. So something like that um, and then the next step will be two only two blocks up we'll do the next layer and two blocks up the next layer 
um, and do that all the way around uh, the farming area. So I got this idea just looking at pictures of farmland and I thought like, not necessarily in Japan, but whenever there's a mountainous area, people tend to just terrace, cut into the mountain, right? To build their farmland. So that's sort of the idea, that's sort of what we're trying to accomplish with this, uh, with this look anyway. Um, for the wheat. So we'll probably do a different style for uh, the different things, but that's what we're doing here. So when it's fully grown, it'll look nice and cool, I think. I haven't really tested this out. It's just an idea. So I'm just trying to get an idea of what that's going to look like. So, uh, I've done quite a bit of work, um, as you can see, uh, <clears throat> on my own time. So, as as usual, when I get started, I get sort of carried away, and I was only going to do a little bit of work, and I end up doing a lot. So, in this episode, we're just going to give you a tour uh, uh, of the progress on the farmland. So, uh, where I left you last time, phase two, I was just building these these terraces here. Uh, we didn't have any water, we were just building the terraces, uh, getting started on that, uh, and obviously I've built that out. So I've extended the terraces, dropped them down only one level, uh, created some sort of interesting shapes, uh, and I've added water because I think uh, if I want it to be functional, we need water. So I added a bunch of that, uh, we added a bunch of wheat over here, um, and then I also added the scarecrows, which, which I taught you how to do in a previous episode. Uh, but it's basically just fence posts, pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern, and more fence posts, right? Uh, that's about it, so. Uh, I created a little path up to here. I think this area we're gonna put our little farm storage unit, uh, and maybe a small garden for flowers and things. Um, and then down in this area, the potatoes and carrots, uh, will go there. So, I've also built, uh, this little, uh, path up here to the, the wheat area. Uh, I've added some water just to make it sort of look fun, um, and a giant tree that we'll add lights to later, I think. Um, so that gives us some interesting farmland over here. Uh, I've continued the terracing all the way to the other side of the hill. Uh, so we've got a lot of wheat growing um, and some farmland that's ready to be planted when I get more seeds. Um, and then you'll notice that I basically just have water here. Um, I put the water in because I think uh, it kind of looks like a rice field or a rice paddy before the harvest or before the planting. So I don't know if you know how to plant rice, uh, but usually it takes a lot of water. It needs a very moist climate. So uh, this is sort of what the fields will look like at the beginning of the planting season. Uh, just a bunch of water like this. Uh, basically though, they're just holding space while I get more soul sand for the, the nether wart. So I went to the nether, uh, I found a good quarry to, f uh, uh, to get soul sand, uh, but um, I only got, well, I got quite a bit, uh, but not enough to fill in the whole area. So on this end then we have the nether wart, which is growing nicely, uh, just about ready to be harvested, I think. Um, and we're gonna continue the terracing, just like on the other side, uh, but with nether wart. Uh, it's just not growing. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this looks about ready to harvest. Um, oh! Over here, we just built a nice little path. A uh, nice little path to come up um, so that we can get into our farmland uh, like we want to. Um, it's just about night, which will give us a nice view of the farmland um, at night Go with the jack and take a look. And I hope that we don't die from getting attacked. <clears throat> so I built this nice little path, um, it kind of goes around the side, so you'll see I put supports in there uh, to make sure the path looks good. Um, and there's our farmland. I think it looks really good. Uh, I'm excited about it. So once the entertainment district is built up, um, let's put some torches down. <clears throat> once the entertainment area is built up, uh, it'll kind of look nice, I think. Maybe a strange location if we're gonna put the entertainment district right there. Hey! Hey! No one invited you to this YouTube. -y. Go away. 
So that's about it, I guess. I uh, made a lot of progress. It took me, well, a couple hours actually. I've been playing for a while. Uh, it's two days later since the previous phase was uh, started. So um, yeah, that's what we have. From the castle, uh, so let's from up, up here, um, it looks kind of nice, I guess. You can see the different terraces. There's a zombie behind me. You can see the terraces. Uh, the farm, the building will be right here, so that'll look nice. The scarecrows look good. Um, everything looks nice, I think. So my plans then um, are to extend the path down here. Sorry, let me deal with this. Someone's at. Someone's bothering me. Well, they're slow, so that's okay. Uh, basically extend the path down to this area where the gate to the entertainment district will be um, and build a farmhouse here uh, and little gardens on the side so uh, we'll do that maybe in a future episode uh, somewhere down the line um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next because we're trying to prepare for the sea temple so all we really needed was another word farm um, and like usual I went overboard so, are you guys coming or are you guys going to stay in the water? Just going swimming? Yeah, alright. Uh, so that's basically it, I guess. If you enjoy the farm, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. Uh, ow! <laughs> let me know what you think, uh, your ideas for maybe the, the little area up here. Um, I haven't decided exactly what I want to do. So maybe in the next episode, we'll go ahead and finish this up. Uh, I tend to start projects and not finish them. So uh, if you're watching this, you need to get on my case. Get on my case and make me finish this project. Um, anyway, for now, that's going to be all. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you like the farmland. Um, and I will see you all next time. Take care. Shinobi out. Thank you.